Hey everybody, we're back here in my living room. Guess what I found? It's time to replace my YouTube notebook. I have a notebook that is specifically for YouTube video ideas and this one is all used up. I should really date these when I get them. If you want to watch me buy a new notebook to become my YouTube notebook, I will have that video available on my Patreon. But I was looking through my old notebook just to make sure that I hadn't missed out any videos that I wanted to do and I stumbled across a tag that I was working on. And you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the tag. I didn't even remember I was working on this and I think maybe I like planned to scrap it, but not anymore. I'm reviving it. I'm bringing it back from the dead and that is the Salty Writer Tag. Basically, this is gonna be a tag doing what I love best, bitching about being a writer. It's fun! Yeah, the writing process is full of beauty and genius and great ideas and flow, but also sometimes it's just the worst. Question one, what is your least favorite well-intentioned compliment that people give you as a writer? You know that one that they think is a compliment but actually kind of like hurts in your soul? I think my favorite is this has potential, especially when you hand someone something that you have been working on for a really long time, something that you have edited a million times, something that you're feeling so proud of, and then they just hand it back and say, this has potential. Potential for what? Potential to be your new favorite book? Cause that better be what you mean, buddy. A lot of times I think it comes from people who don't know exactly what to say. There might be something that they don't love about it, but they don't know exactly what that is. So they're just kind of like, if you perhaps changed some amorphous thing that neither of us can really identify, it might be good someday. Thanks so much. Question two, talk about a favorite scene that you had to scrap. We've all had to kill some of those darlings and it's so, so painful. I cut them out and put them into a separate file because I cannot stand to just delete them. They have to go somewhere where they can live on in case I ever for some reason wanted to put them back in. I don't know why I would, but like I like to have that option. There are a couple of scenes from Boots, which is my Puss in Boots retelling, that is currently basically on the back burner. Occasionally I still send out queries for it, but not so much anymore. Um, but there were a couple of scenes with Joanna, who is the princess, and her best friend Lyle, who is her bodyguard. I loved them because they were really great Joanna-Lyle scenes with just them interacting and you just get a really good feel for their personalities and who they are as people and their friendship and, you know, why they, are, like, love each other so much. But honestly, they didn't do anything to advance the plot, so I had to get rid of them. And you can get an idea of who Joanna and Lyle are without them, but man, they were just so beautiful and like all about my sweet babies and their friendship. Question number three, what is a writer bad habit that you can't seem to break or get rid of? Oh, I probably have a bunch. I mean, I'm kind of an overwriter. I can be an overwriter and an underwriter depending on the situation. And I also haven't quite mastered pacing. What is a bad habit though? I have trouble with mirroring, I think that's what it's called, where I, when I la kind of latch onto a word and I use it in a bunch of paragraphs all in a row. So that might be a bad habit that I haven't been able to break yet. I have, I have probably many bad habits, I just don't know what any of them are right now. Question four, what is the worst thing a reviewer could say to you? I mean, besides just like, I hated this and it sucked. Overall, let's get a little bit more nuanced. What is, what is something that you would like really, really be hurt by if a reviewer said? Honestly, for me, it would probably be something like, all of these characters sucked, I didn't believe a single one of these characters, I didn't understand a single one of these characters, they were all bad and terrible, and I couldn't get into a single one of them. That would break my tiny little heart. Now I've given you the ammunition, somebody's probably gonna write that now, because as soon as you put what your biggest insecurity is out into the world, someone will exploit it. So I look forward to seeing that in one of my upcoming reviews. Question five, what is your least favorite part of the writing process? or publishing, writing or publishing, whatever, what is your least favorite part of all, all of it? Do I even need to say it? At this point, if you have been watching my channel for any length of time, you all know the answer. But if anyone here is new, I'm gonna say it anyway. Editing. 
I am a drafter through and through and then you have to edit and I hate it. And for the sake of my regulars, I'm not going to go into any more detail than that because they already know and they are so sick of hearing about it. Question six. Ooh, this one's gonna hurt me. I forgot that I put these in here. If you're trying to become traditionally published, how many rejections have you gotten? Or if you are traditionally published, how many rejections have you gotten before you were public picked up? Let's find out how many I have. This is gonna, this is gonna be painful. This is also going to cause somebody to come out of the woodwork, I'm sure, and be like, well, it's because you suck. You must have gotten this many rejections because you're just bad. Which we all know is not something I believe in. Not like me not being bad. I, I just don't believe that getting rejections makes you automatically bad. All right, let's get both of my books that are querying here. So we've got 62 from Boots so far. So far. And 35 so far from the game. Cool. And just to clarify for anyone who's out there thinking, wow, you really must suck. Um, this actually is not an unusual number of rejections to get. Uh, this is a fairly standard number of rejections to get in the querying process. Many people get considerably more and it doesn't mean their books are bad. Question is seven, share a scene that you hated writing. Which for me doesn't happen very often. I I'm a pantser a discovery writer and so everything is kind of a surprise or not like a total surprise but like I don't have everything planned out how it's gonna go so it that makes the process pretty enjoyable for me I think that's why I love drafting so much it's kind of an adventure but every now and then I do butt up against a scene then I'm just like oh, I don't want to be writing the scene I know it's necessary I know I need it to get me to the scene I'm excited to write but I don't know if I have one that I'm like oh man I really hated writing that Question eight, what is your biggest weakness? All right, everyone, I'll tell you mine. If you tell me yours, you better leave your biggest writing weakness in the comments. Mine is interpersonal conflict. It used to be world building, but actually I think I've come a long way with world building. I'm still not perfect, obviously, but I've been making an effort to really try to get into world building more, and I hope it shows. Interpersonal conflict is a problem for me for personal reasons that are deeper than just I suck at it. I suck at it is a factor, but there are other reasons, and I go into it more in depth on my Patreon if you wanted to check that out. I still really struggle with it, and people are like, well, just do this, just do that. I watch videos about it, and they're like, it's simple, just this, and I'm like, it is not simple. At least not for me. I'm sure for other people it is the easiest thing in the world, but for me it is not simple. And question nine, share a frustrating critique moment. So you're in a critique, either with friends who are writers or strangers, and somebody just like says something or something happens that's just so frustrating. I think I might have a couple for this one. One of my least favorite critique moments is when there's there's always one person, at least, and I try really hard not to be that person, who just cannot take anything that you say. They always have an excuse for why it needs to be that way, why your critique is wrong. Instead of just taking the critique on board and thinking about how it could help them, they always have to push back against it. And I know it's really hard not to, it's your knee-jerk response to defend what you were trying to do, but the best way in my mind to get around it is to think to yourself, well, I was trying to do this, but clearly it's not coming across to my reader, so I need to figure out a different strategy. Instead of like, no, my reader is just dumb, they just didn't get it. My genius cannot be questioned. But the other frustrating critique moment comes hand in hand with that, and that is when nobody in the critique understands what you were trying to do, everybody doesn't like something that was an important plot point or upon which a large part of the story hinges, so you know you're going to have to make a lot of big changes, and it's like, oof. Oof. <laughs> the biggest oof. And finally, the last question is, what can ruin a writing session for you? So you're sitting down, you're ready to write, you've got whatever you need, you've got your beverages, you've got your music, whatever you need, you're in a coffee shop, what ruins it? For me, I write solo. So the thing that would ruin a writing session for me is someone interrupting it, coming in, wanting to talk to me, messing up my flow, a big distraction. Some people love distractions, like they go to coffee shops and stuff. And I'm like, how? Why? I have no idea. Or like, 
the writing sprints that I see a lot of people doing, I wouldn't want to write for 15 minutes and then stop because if I was on a roll, I don't want to stop and talk to people. I want to just keep going. That's how I write. I write as much or as little as my brain will let me most of the time. So there you go. That was the tag that I just found in my book and I'm like super excited to have found this original tag that I, I don't think I ever filmed. So please, if you're interested, do this tag. Share your salty writing moments with me. Things that just drive you crazy and annoy you share them and please please if you make a video of this let me know where it is because I want to watch it I will give you that like I will give you that watch time just tell me that it exists this channel has been going on for a really long time so there are tons of other videos including other tags including other original tags that you can find here and do so if you're like gosh I'm all tagged out like I've, I've seen I feel like I've seen all of the tags that are out there check out my channel because I've got a couple that I made myself that I guarantee are not widespread as some of you may have gathered, I am, in fact, an author, and I have a book, The Wolf and the Hawk, which is available now on Amazon in paperback, ebook, and audiobook. So that's cool. Don't forget that you can also support me on Patreon, where there are a ton of exclusive videos not seen here on the regular channel, and your donations go towards helping me publish my own books. My dog is just like, <laughs> I'm just watching her just laying over there on her bed in what looks like the most uncomfortable position in the world, but it's got to be comfortable to her. All of the links to my social media, including my Patreon, are in the doobly-doo for ease of your clicking. And I will see all of you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Steve. Kit. Hidden Glade. Persephone. Light Julie. O.S. Anna. Belle. Patrick. Anne Sophie. Callison. Artemis. Shelby. Zaire. Jesper. Irene. Scribbling Cat, Savvy, Jenny, Amanda, Lisa, Sarah, Lennox, and Merween. Hey, I'm not giving up today. There's nothing getting in my way. And if you knock, knock me over, I will get back up again. Oh, if something goes a little wrong, well, you can go ahead and bring it on. Because if you knock, knock me over, I will get back up again.